Hey guys, what's up? Nikki here, right on the corner of Dundas and Auckland Drive. Just uh, walking out of Kipling Subway Station. Now, as you can see, there's the Apache Burgers restaurant and it's, it's a pretty popular fast food restaurant in Etobicoke. I've been there many times before. In fact, in 2017, my dad and I used to go there every two weeks. And because I liked it so much, you know, because any uh, weekend without Apache burgers would kind of hurt me. Like, okay, I know I couldn't go every single weekend because it's too much money, but... Because I didn't, on, whenever I have a weekend where I don't get to go to Apache Burgers at all, I basically go there like the next week just to make up for it. But if I have to like skip two weekends of no of no Apache Burgers, that would hurt me. Because you know I just used to be my favorite fast food restaurant, and my mom, my dad even threatened to um, not go to a not take me there ever again if I wasn't being organized or if I, um, you know, actually, you know what, I'll probably walk on this side of the street. If I wasn't being organized or if, uh, you know, I wasn't being nice to others. Like, it was a threat back then. And there was actually, we actually came to a point where on October 20th, 2017, I wasn't being organized in school. I kept losing my textbooks, and then my dad, my dad and I, no, my dad and my mom made, negotiated, and then he said, well, I told mom that there's gonna be no Apache burgers until such time comes when you get organized. Anyhow, their hamburgers there are the best, okay? They make the best burgers in the, one of the best burgers in the world. So, if you live in Etobicoke or anywhere else in Toronto, although if you live in Scarborough, you'd have to commute all the way just to get here, but if you live in Etobicoke, I certainly recommend Apache Burgers because their hamburgers are great. So if you don't eat there, you're really missing out. But just to be, just to warn you guys, it's cash only. Like you can't use your debit or credit to buy food there. It's just a cash only establishment. Which is a little bit inconvenient for me because I don't like to pay with cash. Now I'm more of a contactless payee. So anyhow, this is this is Dundas, and we drive along here all the time. So I thought I'd just do a walking video here. Here's a go bus pulling out, and it's a double decker. And it's running on route number 29. Because really, that's the only go bus route that pulls out of Kipling Go Bus Terminal. When I ro rode that route on that pouring rainy day a couple weeks ago, uh, I was on a single level go bus. I actually find the seats more com comfy on the single level than on the double decker because when you get to the top level of the do double decker go bus, it's so claustrophobic, especially the staircase. We got all four threes, lucky three, on route number 900. So that's three, 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 three on the 900. But to me, I just call it all four threes. Same with the Orion 7 OG diesel. Like for example, one, 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 one. I just call it all four ones. Now that GO station over there, the bus terminal, 
It opened on January 4th, 2021. And my dad and I just took a trip on the GO train, Milton Line, riding it from uh, Union to Kipling Station on December 29th, 2020. And we kind of had a peek of the, the new GO Station bus terminal, but we didn't go in because it wasn't open. So we can say that that GO bus station opened in early, early 2021. Yeah, that 2021 is the worst year because it's basically pandemic year. Let's put it this way. 2021 is a pandemic year. We were wearing masks all year long. So we didn't return back to our normal lives until the middle of 2022. Yeah, a lot of bad things and eventually. Sometimes they take a while, but still. So the temperature right now is three degrees centigrade. And it's supposed, we're supposed to get a lot more snow tomorrow because they're for forecasting snow in the forecast. And if you go to the weather network, you know what the icons look like. There's a cloud with three snowflakes, but also there's a cloud with five snowflakes. Tomorrow they're forecasting cloud with five snowflakes, meaning we're supposed to get a lot of snow. So I'll have to find something to do. I always like to go out in the snowy weather. So we'll yeah, I'll, I'll find something to do. And if it's if we're gonna get snow, maybe I'll, f I'll f go somewhere and film a nature video. Wow, the sun's kind of bright. Because it's reflecting off the buildings and it's reflecting off the snow. And it's a Sunday afternoon. Tomorrow is the beginning of a new week. And here comes the 900 bus, which is 3339. I'm gonna, you know, I just saw a luggage rack in there. I'm gonna have to maybe do some research and find out which of the Nova Bus LFS series to have the luggage racks because I know 3330 was painted in the airport livery, but uh, sometimes it can be hard to tell which uh, Nova bus in that series has the luggage racks. You only notice them when they're running on the 900. So maybe, maybe every time I see a Nova on the 900, I'll probably have to do some photography. Like that's part of being a transit fan. You take a lot of pictures of buses and I guess, you just use them for research purposes. tell because all of the 7900s are from 2006 and you know the, the, those batch that batch was actually being made the exact same year as the OG diesels because I mean OG hybrids because all of the Orion 7 OG hybrids are also from 2006 so basically they were making OG diesels and OG hybrids the same year I feel like they're trying to modernize this area because they've been doing a lot of construction here and if you go just east of Kipling subway station they've been 
finicking around with the bridge, you know, that goes over to Kipling Avenue. They messed it up, like, I can't even picture what it looked like before, but I know it didn't used to look like that. Where, because I, because I believe the, that bridge just east of Kipling Station used to overlap. Now it's going to be my turn across the street. <sighs> All right, here we go. dealerships around here as well like we've got a we've got Mazda dealership and then we've got you know four car, car companies at once okay I think they're building they're using this land because they're build they're gonna build an apartment building around here and it's gonna be 21 stories tall, wow. See, what did, I, what did I tell you? They're modernizing everything around here. And I'm walking right in the direction where the sun is. the Mississauga skyline from here. I think this right here, it was either here or just, uh, what, just east of here, but there used to be a Bolarama. No, I think the, I'm pretty sure the Bolarama was a little bit east of here. Although I could be wrong, but I've been to that Bolarama that they tore down a few times. I've been there for fun obviously, but I've been to a few birthday parties there. Whoa, it's a little windy right now. be good for making snowmen because now the snow is no longer fresh well, mind you we're supposed to get some more fresh snow tomorrow but right now you can make a snowman right around here actually This right here is the food basics that I've been to many, many, many times before. I 
know it's hard to see because of the sun glaring, but still, I'm about to cross here anyways. And just over there, oh, come on, you stupid mess. Over there is Cloverdale Mall. You can see it right there. And that's actually where I'm heading to, by the way. So, yeah, that, uh, that'll do it. And this is a very weird intersection. When you get towards Coverdale Mall, there's like cars coming from everywhere. It's just, a, in, just an inconvenient intersection, I must say. So yeah, um, that'll conclude everything for today. So, oh, look at that. That looks like some sort of Halloween decoration. That bag, looks like that bag is having a seizure. Just dancing around like that. But anyways, if you enjoy this, leave a like on and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you again next time for some more videos. So yeah, take care everyone. Bye-bye.